Because every time you steal something, someone else got to pay a higher price because you think you think it's cool to steal. Stop being idiots and then try to play the victim when your ass get locked up. Well, if that's not the pot calling the kettle black, I don't know what is. Welcome back, HDC Tribe. Come on. So really quick, y'all, today's sponsor is Olight. And I personally run most of their lights on my guns. And I wanted to talk about this one. It's called the Bolton 3. This is the world's first flashlight with a wireless charging case. And this thing is small, but it is bright. And all you do is you take it out and you put it right back in and it starts charging again. You've also got the i3 EOT brass. I carry one of these everywhere I go. And then you've got the Opal. Of course, I had to go with the red, white, and blue. So go to their website, it's below. Check it out, 35% off for St. Patrick's Day. So look, I think it's fair to say that most people have stolen something in their lifetime, whether it's a beer out of your buddy's fridge, or maybe it was one of your mom's Victoria's Secrets magazines before we were allowed on computers. Hey, I'm not judging you. I might be judging myself a little bit, but you know. But when stealing gets bad is when you were conning somebody out of their money, and two, using a nonprofit to con people out of their money. So this guy by the name, I gotta, I'm going to try to keep a serious face here. He, he goes by the name of Sir Major Page. Sounds like a wannabe Grandmaster J. I'm sorry, this is hilarious to me. And this is a little taste of this guy trying to keep a SWAT team who's training from doing their job. This is unethical, it is dangerous, and it's not okay. What house is it? All right. What are you guys doing? It's none of your business. Oh, I, it is my business. No, it's not your business. What are you guys doing? It's none of your business. It is my business. Not your you're not going to be doing raids in a black neighborhood. <laughs> do this. You're not going to be kicking in doors. Do that, in a, do that in a white neighborhood. As you can see, he put the fear of God into those guys. But hey, hey good job, man. Anyway, so this guy, Sir Major Page, set up a Black Lives Matter page in Atlanta and was taking donations. And he was spending the money that he got from those donations on personal items. I think he bought a house and he was paying hookers. Spending a little too much time on OnlyFans there, are we buddy? Maybe you should have stuck to only guns. What I do, you're not gonna find me paying $5 to see some chick. I think that's probably the only thing that me and Adam Calhoun don't agree on. So he sets up this page and he says it's to fund the protests for George Floyd. Now, really the riot. So even if you were giving the money to that, you'd just be helping them buy bricks and hammers and whatever else, which is stupid. Let's take a look at what he spent it on. All right, so we got 11 grand at a furniture spot. What did you buy? Blankets of bear? What are you buying at Walmart that costs that much money? My God. And then he spent $108,000 on a house. The total amount that he stole is north of 450 grand. Okay, now I cannot make this up. So about 11 months ago, Sir Major Page says this on one of his own YouTube videos. Because every time you steal something, someone else got to pay a higher price because you think you think it's cool to steal. Stop being idiots and then try to play the victim when your ass get locked up. <laughs> okay, so you're saying that people have to pay a higher price for things because of people stealing and that they're idiots? <laughs> now look, I've said this before, I've never been a fan of the Black Lives Matter movement. I think it's purely a movement that victimizes black people and preys on white conservatives for being white. But taking people's money through a nonprofit, no matter what the movement is, saying you're gonna use it to help that movement, and then going on a shopping spree at Walmart, Dillard's buying a house and paying hookers? That's just the lowest level of integrity out there. T 
To me, that's worse than robbing a bank. Now here's my question after hearing this. How many of these pages and organizations in Black Lives Matter that are accepting donations have done this? Maybe that's something the FBI needs to look into because usually if one person is doing something, other people are doing it. I mean, I thought it was about social justice and helping black people. No, apparently it's about going on shopping sprees at Walmart and having fun with hookers. Well, Sir Major, like you said in your video, stop being the victim and face the music.